Okay, in this video we're going to talk about Calc A, B, and B, C 2016 number 5, um, which was the funnel problem. I think it'll go down in history as the funnel problem. Um, let me tell you, my students did not like this question, so let's do it. So you're given this picture of a funnel, and you're told that R is uh, 1 20th, 3 plus H squared. 1 20th the quantity, 3 plus H squared, and you're told that H is only between 0 and 10. Um, so the first question isn't that bad. It says find the average value of the radius. So average value is integral divided by interval. Um, so if we know that, we can kind of just do this. This is a non-calculator, though, and it's, it's kind of a really annoying non-calculator problem. Uh, so it's the integral from 0 to 10 of 1 over 20, 3 plus h squared dh over 10 minus 0. Uh, so now let's, let's do some work. So uh, the 1 20th and the 1 10th, I combined to 1 over 200. And then I'm going to integrate 1 over 200, 3h plus 1 third h cubed. And then we have to go from 0 to 10, because that's what h varies between. And that's going to be 1 over 200. Plugging in 10, I get 30 plus 1,000 over 3, which you could actually just stop there and put inches. Um, but most people probably don't. So I'm going to add that up, get 1090 over 600 which simplifies to 109 over 60, and that's in inches. Okay, so that's part A, it's average value, uh, not bad, but, so part A should have given you the sense that if you were to graph this thing, like by hand, uh, H is the independent variable, so it would go on the horizontal, and R is the dependent, so it would go on the vertical, and I think that thinking of it that way will make the next part much easier, which is the part that I think my students got confused about. So, I don't know, maybe that's my fault, but I'm not entirely sure, because uh, I read this question as like a pretty straightforward question. Uh, so if I were to graph this, I would do this, and then it's just kind of a quadratic, so it looks like that. If you turn that on like, like 90 degrees, it kind of looks like half of the picture that you're given. And so what I really just want to do is rotate this around the H axis. Um, so to find the volume, it's pi, the integral from 0 to 10, and then it's going to be... Um, r of h squared, so 1 over 20, uh, 3 plus h squared, quantity squared, and then dh, and now this is just a nightmare. So it's pi over 400, the integral from 0 to 10, it's going to be 9 plus 6h squared plus h to the fourth dh, and here we go. So pi over 400, it's going to be 9h plus 2h cubed, plus 1 fifth h to the fifth, from 0 to 10. Fortunately, plugging in 0 gives you 0. Um, so pi over 400, we're going to have 90 plus 2,000 plus, uh, what is that, 100,000 over 5. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Um, so 90 plus 2,000 plus 20,000. And I'm just going to keep going. I mean, I actually could have stopped. Uh, as soon as I just had all numbers, I could have stopped and said it was in inches cubed. But uh, I'm pretty sure most people would keep going on this. So 2209 pi over 40, and then that's going to be in inches cubed. So um, an alternative approach I think that some people used was that they looked at it as uh, circular cross sections. So if you look at circular cross sections, um, then the area of a cross section is pi r squared. Um, but that just leads you to exactly the same integral that I just did. So uh, it's really not a big deal if you do it one way or the other. Um, just try not to get confused. Think about what's the independent, what's the dependent, and maybe like think about how you would actually graph this function. And I think it makes part b a lot easier, because a lot of people were grumbling about this part. And uh, it's not really that bad. So let's take a look at part c, which is kind of a related rate slash chain rule type problem. I'm never sure how to classify them. So um, funnel contains liquid that's draining from the bottom. So when the height is 3, I know that the rate of change of the radius of the surface of the liquid, so there's like a lot going on. Okay, so here's a picture. Um, that's the surface, and I'm told that the rate of change of uh, the area of that, no, of the radius of the area of that, whatever, the rate of change of the radius of the surface <laughs> is decreasing. But basically I'm told drdt. So when h is 3, I'm told that dr dt is negative 1 fifth um, inches per second. Okay, that's good. That's really all I need. So I'm asked to find dh dt at that time. So 
let's see if we can do this. So find dH dt at that time. So r is equal to 1 20th 3 plus h squared. So dr dt, so everything is being treated as a function of t now, is 1 20th um, 2 h dh dt. Remember the derivative of 3 is 0. If you forget that, you get this problem wrong, which I did when I initially wrote up my solution. Um, so you, you really have 3 over 20 plus 1 20th h squared, which is an easier way to think about it if you're going to take the derivative. So we get that. Um, now I can just plug in and solve. So dh, uh, dr dt is negative 1 fifth. That's 1 tenth times 3 times dh dt. So dh dt is negative 2 thirds inches per second. Um, and that's all the question. So it's really not that bad. I think part B threw a lot of people off. Um, there, there's nothing incredibly strange about the problem. It's just kind of uh, the variables, I guess, changed. So uh, I hope this was helpful, and good luck.